Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, problem number 12. Okay, problem number 12. Let me read out the question. Figure shows two non-conducting spherical shells uh, fixed in place. Shell 1 has uniform surface charge density plus 6 microcoulomb per meter squared on its outer surface and radius 3 uh, centimeters. Shell 2 has a uniform surface charge density plus 4 micro coulomb per meter square on its outer surface and radius 2 centimeters. The shell centers are separated by L equal to 10 centimeter. In unit vector notation, what is the net electric field at X equal to 2 centimeters? So we have two uniformly charged spherical shells, shell 1 and shell 2. For shell 1, uh, charge density is plus 6 micro coulomb per meter square, radius is 3 centimeters. For shell 2, uh, 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 charge density is plus 4 micro coulomb per meter square, radius is 2 centimeters. We had find out electric field, net electric field at x equal to 2 centimeters. So if this is 3 here, this is 3 centimeters origin. Radius of the shell 1 is 3 centimeters, so this point is 3 centimeters. Uh, we had to find out something else is also given. Okay, L is equal 10 centimeters, so this L is 10 centimeters, means this point is 10 centimeters. We had to find out field somewhere here at x equal to 2 centimeters. Okay, at x equal to 2 centimeters we had to find out uh, electric field. Now, uh, from Gauss law, now from Gauss law, we, uh, you should already know that for a uniformly charged spherical shell, so if this is a uniformly charged spherical shell, we have also discussed in it in uh, previous sessions. For a uniformly charged shell, for points lying outside, so E outside, for points lying outside, uh, shell behaves like a point charge located at its center. Okay, for points lying outside the shell, uniformly charged spherical shell behaves like a point charge located at its center. So field is given by gamma Q divided by R squared, same as that of a point charge. And for points lying inside the shell, for points lying inside the shell, electric field is equal to 0. For all points inside the shell, electric field is equal to 0. So this is the result we need to use here. So again, for points lying outside the shell, uh, shell behaves like a point charge located at its center and for points lying inside the shell, field is simply 0. Now, we have to find out uh, field at this point at x equal to, uh, at x equal to 2 centimeters. Now, clearly you can see that point is inside shell 1. Okay, that point is inside shell 1. So, field at this point due to shell 1 is 0. Okay, so shell 1 does not contribute anything to the field here. And the same point is lying outside shell 2. So, shell 2 will behave like a point charge located at its center. Okay, shell 2 will behave like a point charge located at its center because the point is outside that shell. So, field at this point due to shell 1 is 0 and shell 2 will contribute to the field as per the point charge because it will behave like a point charge. So, field at point P, let's call this point P, due to shell 1 is equal to 0 and field at point P due to shell 2, that's what we had find out, that's non-zero, okay, that's non-zero. Now, uh, uh, formula is simple. We need to use point charge formula gamma Q divided by R squared. Gamma Q divided by R squared. Now, what charge of shell 2? Okay, charge of shell 2. We already know charge density is 4 uh, micro coulomb per meter squared, which can be written as 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb per meter square. We also know the radius. So, charge of shell 2 is equal to charge into area simple charge per unit area is here so we just multiply it by the area to get the total charge so sigma 2 into area is 4 pi r2 square 4 pi r2 r2 is 2 centimeters which is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters okay this is charge for shell 2 then distance of the point from shell 2 
Now this point has a coordinate x equal 2 meters and here uh, uh, position is uh, x coordinate is 10 centimeters. So this distance here, this distance here is going to be 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 centimeters, 8 centimeters which is 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. 8 into 10 to the power minus. So we know the distance, we know the charge, we can find our field at, uh, at the concerned point now. So field field is gamma Q2 divided by R squared. Gamma we already know is 9 into 10 to the power 9 in SI system. Charge is sigma 2 into 4 pi R2 squared divided by r is uh, 8 centimeters so 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square okay so let's substitute the values this is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into sigma 2 sigma 2 was 6 into uh, 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 then we have 4 pi is 3.14 r2 R2, radius of shell 2, radius of shell 2 is 2 centimeters, so 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters, so 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 squared, R squared, divided by, this is 8 squared into 10 to the power minus 4, okay, 8 squared into 10 to the power minus 4. So let's see what cancels out here, uh, we have 4, 4, then 2 square. Okay, then 2 square and we have 8 square here. 2 square, so 2 is 2 times. So 4 into 2 is 8. Then again 4 into 2 is 8. So we'll have 8 square upstairs and 8 square downstairs. That will cancel out. So what we are left with is 9, uh, 3.14, then 10 to the power, all that. I have already worked that out. It comes out to be 2.8, 2.8 into 10 to the power 4. Newton per coulomb. This is field at the point. 2.8 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. Field at this point only because of shell 2. Shell 1 will not contribute anything to the field. Uh, 2.8 into two, uh, 10 to the power 4. Okay, if we write it in uh, vector form, okay, we'll write it in vector form now. Now this field, this field, This field. This shell is positively charged. So field will be away from the shell. So field is this way. Now you can clearly see that field is in the negative direction of x axis. Okay. Negative direction of x. So we'll put minus i. Uh, we write in, uh, it in the uh, vector form. So E vector is equal to minus 2.8 into 10 to the power 4 i unit vector. Since direction is in negative direction of x axis, so minus i unit vector we are introducing. So minus 2.8 into 10 to the power 4i. Is that fine? That will do for this session.